So you've created your Power BI dashboard. And now what you want to do is be able to send it out to people for them to review. Now, Power BI provides us several different ways we can do this. We can create it as a PowerPoint file. We can send it out as a PDF file. We can save it as a PBIX file and then send that out to people. So we're going to look at all three of these different ways that we can distribute these files and see what are the pluses and minuses of each option. So what we have is this file, and the first thing we would want to do with any of our files is to save that file. And so I'm going to go over to, it's just like any other uh, Microsoft product, we're going to go to File, and we're going to go to Save As. Now it's going to give us some options. Here it already gives me, it gives me some options of places I can save these files, where I've saved them before, um, or I can go all the way down to the bottom to browse this device and pick a new file. I'm going to save this file in my Accounting Power BI folder. So I'll click on that folder, and then down at the bottom, I'm going to type in the name. And let's just call it Sales 2023. Okay, so we've got our Sales 2023. Uh, let's call it Sales 2023 dashboard for that matter. And I'm going to save this. So now all I've got to do is I've got to go over here, and let me get this out of the way, and we're going to hit Save. And it's going to save this file. So I'm going to show you where this file is when I open up my uh, Windows Explorer. Um, it's going to open this up. When I go down to my Power BI folder, it's going to be right there. There's my Sales 2023 dashboard. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look at some different ways we can distribute that. Now, the most obvious way would be to, uh, to email that. So I'm going to shut this file down for a moment, and we'll come back to it later. So the next thing I might want to do is I might want to, let's close this. I might want to email this file out. And the way I might do it, so let's go to my email file here, and I'm going to do a compose email, and I am going to send this to my Tennessee Tech account. And I'm going to say this is a, a Power BI dashboard. And I was, I'm just going to say here is the dashboard. And I am going to now attach that PBIX file to this email. Now this works if the person you're sending them to also has an account that they can then look at the file. Okay, If they don't have a Power BI account, this is not going to work. So for instance, if I created this in my desktop with Richard Rand, I sent it from Richard Rand to this particular email address, I'm not going to be able to open that file. Um, but if I have a, a, a program or if I have a, um, a, an account on the uh, Power BI dashboard, then I'm going or in Power BI, then I'm going to be able to open this file. So let me show you what it's going to look like. So if I go over here to my email, and so when I go look at this, we can see where that file has now come in. So if I open that, I can now see I've got this file, and I'm going to simply download it. And once it's downloaded, I can click on it. As you see, it's going to open up in Power BI. And here it is. It's opening up now for us. Now, it takes a little longer. I did, so I cut out some video. It takes a minute or so for this to load up. But once it loads up, not only do you have both reports, page one and page two, of your dashboard, but you actually also have the data file. This is a pretty big file that downloads. But who? this is what happens is you actually send the person not only the f data or the, the dashboard, but you send them the data as well. Now, this means that this is probably not the way you want to distribute this dashboard if you don't want people seeing or messing with the data. If you just want people to see the dashboard itself, you're going to send this out in a different way. So let's look at a different way that we might want to distribute this dashboard. So let's reopen our dashboard. Here it is. We're going to reopen our dashboard right here. So we have our dashboard open, and there's some other options for us. One of them is the file uh, uh, export option. And this only gives us a couple of options. One of these is to export to PDF. And so when we export to a PDF file, we hit that, and it's going to take this whole dashboard, and it's going to create a PDF file for us that will open up. 
and let me drag that over so you can see it. Here's our PDF file. And the problem with this PDF file is it is not interactive. So what you get is a static version of the file. The slicers are not active and cannot be used. So a PDF file does show somebody what's in the dashboard, but it doesn't allow them to use the slicers that are built into the dashboard. So that's a disadvantage of PDF. But unlike the dis distribution or the sending of the PBIX file, it does not give them all the data. So it just shows them the static picture of what the dashboard looks like. We've looked at how to send a PBIX to someone who's also part of your organization's uh, Power, Power BI uh, network. We have looked at how to send someone a PDF file of the Power BI dashboard and again that's just static you just see anything it's not interactive there are a couple of other ways we can also distribute this dashboard one of them is to export it to a PowerPoint file and you might remember that when I showed you the export before uh, I told you that but when we looked at it all we had was the export to PDF file we might actually want to power to export that to a to a PowerPoint file but you can't do it through the desktop you have to do it through the app uh, or through the Power BI account. Before we can do that, we have to publish this file. And so we're going to publish it. Now I want to show you something before I publish this. And I'm going to just shrink this down. This is my Power BI account. And I want you to notice in the MySpace section down here, this is the where I've got my files in MySpace, I do not have a, a, a file for Sales 2023 dashboard. That doesn't exist yet. And I want to show you that so that you know that when I send it, it's going to show up. And you'll notice that it wasn't there to start with. So I'm going to go over here and go to Publish. And when I go to Publish, it gives me an option. The only option is to publish to Power BI. I don't know why it just doesn't go directly to Power BI, but this is your option. If you hit Publish, and it's going to ask you, do you want to save it? And say yes. And it's going to send it now to your Power BI. Now, my destination is My Workspace. So I'm going to hit Select. And it's going to be, it's going to work, and it's going to publish this. It's going to tell me that it's published in just a moment. And when it does, it's going to show up over in my Power BI workspace. So there that is. Now, if I go over here and look in my Power BI workspace, and I scroll down, there it is. It's now shown up. So I can now look at this, and I'm actually going to now, I'm done with my Power BI desktop. I don't really need it anymore. I'm going to expand this so we can look at it. Now, within this, this I'm going to go down and open up this Sales 2023 dashboard. Now, when I do that, um, it's going to allow me now to, uh, to open this up and to distribute it to other people. So it's opening up my report, and it's going to show me the report. Now, what's interesting about this report is that I don't have the data, but this is active. If I wanted to do Alabama, I could just see Alabama. If I wanted to do California, I could see California. If I want to do Kansas and California, I could click Control, and I could click whatever states I want to see. And it's going to click just the states I want to see. If I wanted to look at one region over another, or one quarter over another, I could do that. Okay. Now, what's interesting about this now is that I now have the ability to, to for somebody to see this file uh, and, and to look at it. Anybody who's in my network is going to be able to see this. Okay? Um, but if I really want to distribute it to, to people in my organization, uh, there's a way to do that. So we have a couple ways. One is to share. So this is in, they can't see this yet because it's just in my space. But if I want to share this, I can share this. So I will share this. And it, let's say I wanted to share it back to my email address I showed you before, the eagle seller um, at charter.net. What it's going to do when I hit that, it's going to give me this message here. I, want, I don't know if you can see this or not. Let me see if I can make it bigger so you can see it. It says in here, um, one or more email addresses within the following domains are outside your organization. So it means I cannot access this particular um, email address. It's not part of the network that I have. However, if I was send this to say to uh, Dr. C, and I put R S E A Y at T N T E C H E U, it's going to let it's going to show me he's in my network. 
I'm allowed to distribute this. And he would get exactly what I'm seeing here. He would get this report, and it would show me page one and page two. It would be interactive, and it would be really a way for him to see this. Now, when I update this, he, his would also be updated. Okay, so that's really powerful. Now, and and now, not only that, but rather than me just sending it to him, he can actually subscribe to this dashboard so that every time I update it, he gets an automatic update. I don't have to reshare it with him, which is kind of also a really nice feature built into Power BI. The other way I can do this, if I go to the export, this is where I can get my export to PowerPoint. Now, this is kind of strange because it only really, it's got two options to it, okay? One option is to export it with live data. The problem is when you export it with live data, you only get the report that you're looking at. So I've got two pages in this report, right? I've got this page and I've got page two. And page two has this information. If I go to page one and I do a, let's, let's, let's go ahead and do this, do export to PowerPoint and I'm going to do embed the live data. I'm going to say open in PowerPoint and it's going to do this, open PowerPoint. So it's going to give me this. It's 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 not it's interactive. Okay, it's really great because it's got the live data. But all I get is the single page. Okay, I want more than just the one page. I want both pages, and it's only giving me the one page of this thing, which is really kind of, of irritating. It doesn't give me the other page. I want both pages. Now, one way I can get both pages is to distribute this without the live data. The problem with that is it won't be set up so that it's interactive. So let me show you how that works. So if I now export this to PowerPoint and it is just an image with the current values, it's going to open PowerPoint here for me. It's exporting to PowerPoint. It takes a moment to do it. And we'll pause for a second so it can do this for us. And there's our file right here. We open it up in PowerPoint. We got the, the title slide. We have page one of the report. We have page two of the report. But you notice these things are not interactive. So that's the downside of that. So it, it's really nice, though, if you're wanting to do a, a separate um, uh, report for each one of these uh, 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 pages that's in your dashboard. This is a great way to do that. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, hopefully you now see the different ways that we can distribute or save and distribute these uh, dashboards that we create with Power BI. Remember, if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. Also hit that notification bell. Uh, so that when we issue additional videos, you'll be sure and be notified of that. Hope you have a wonderful day.